Howdy folks, welcome to episode 38. Today we're going to, is this really 38? <laughs> it doesn't seem like we've done that many episodes. Okay, this is episode 38. We're going to um, see if we can do this. I think we put the brakes on these. Yeah, we have brakes on these. Okay, we're going to see if this should, yeah, this should come down too. Okay, good. All right, not that I'm actually going to do anything about that today. But yeah, so we're going to... We're going to go ahead and see if we can bring in our cars here. And we're going to go like this. And we'll give it some regulator. See if we can move this forward without pulling it off the track. <laughs> right? And yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up past... And we're going to back it down this track right here and run it into those. So we need to bring it up past this switch and then get that moving. So that's the plan for that. How's our frame rate looking? Not too bad right now. Let's see how this goes when we get it moving. See, it's 40, 43. Now watch when we hit the switch, what happens. It comes back down. Yeah. Okay. And then let's see what we've got ahead of us here. I'm just watching this go over the switch before we... Yeah, okay. No, we should be good. We should be good to, to do this. I'm not sure... Yeah, it's just, it's just looking bouncy. I don't think it's actually... In danger of coming off the tracks so <laughs> famous last words right <laughs> everything's everything looks yeah everything look, looks uh nominal right okay nominal <laughs> let's see that's that switch there so we just need to get past that so like that okay All right, and let's see what we can do here. And then this is gonna go here, here, the cat's pushing on my arm. Okay, it's still there, the pin is still there. I'm just curious to see what happens, <laughs> if the pin goes away or not. All right, let's get this thing moving again. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go into the interface, though, so that we can see the back of this as we're backing it up. So, let's go like this. Huh, interesting. <laughs> All right, and we should be able to go a little bit faster than this. Get a move on, right? It's our frame rate. All right, we don't need to go super fast. I just wanna do this. Open controls, there we go. All right, our speed is 10.5. We're gonna get this out of here. We're gonna get this out of here and then we can go. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna run back here we're going to stand back here. We're going to let this thing coast around this gently. That is really fast. That's really fast. Let's get some brakes going here. It's like it's speeding up, isn't it? Is it just me or does it feel like it's speeding up? There we go. It's a little bit better. I swear it felt like it was just accelerating. I was expecting it to slow down a whole lot around that corner, but instead it was going a lot faster. Okay. All right, let's go back here. We're gonna stand on this one. All right, make sure this one is clear. Okay, cool. All right, we're gonna stand on this. There we go. 
and let's get a little bit more break. There we go. I don't want to go too fast into this, but this looks like we should roll into it okay. What is our speed? Yeah, 2. Okay, that's fine. 1.9, less than 2. All right. And contact. All right. So, we should be able to <clears throat> We're going to hit the reverser before we even forget. And then, oh, you know what we need to do is we need to go like this. And we're going to take the brakes off these. And I think it was only the first three. Let's make sure. All right, cool. Okay, so I don't think we need this interface to drive this anymore. So we're gonna hide that and we're gonna come back up here. We'll go in the we'll go in the cabin and we'll go in the engine and drive. Before I do that I want to save. We're gonna save whoops, not F1, escape. Save game. <clears throat> back. That would be an optional drink. Because <laughs> I hit the F1 instead of the escape menu. Alright. Undrink? <laughs> See what we can do here. Is it going to pull it off the? We just need to be gentle. If it's going to be too much, then what we can do is we can um, we can push it backwards first, and then get a little bit of movement before we go around the corner. But it looks like it's going to go. Oh, you know what? Ah, no, no, no! Go that way. There we go. All right, we're gonna go this way, and then this way. Okay. All right, we're set up for that. I almost forgot to flip all the switches. <laughs> right. Okay. There we go, and let's get a little bit more. There we go. Just want enough to keep it moving around the corner. That's it. There we go. Nice. So I'm working on the save editor still. And I want to do where you can move the track points around. But it also means if I do that, I have to write all the... the I have to make it be able to save that to the file. It's, it's one thing to manipulate it in memory. It's another thing to write it to the file to the save file. So um, trying to decide whether it's worth the effort or not at this point. Okay, we can come down a little bit because it's getting faster. Let's see what our speed is. Five. Okay. We're, I thought we were speeding up. We are speeding up. Okay. But that works. There must be a, a little bit of a downhill here. Let's see. 6.4 Cuz I don't think the um I don't think 4% regulator is going to be adding that much speed to it. <laughs> on a, on level ground. But yeah, that's cool. Cool. We're off we're off the dangerous dangerous part there. So we should be able to add a little bit more Is it Am I hitting two? I was hitting the two key instead of... Apparently I'm off by one key in whatever direction. Okay. <laughs> in random directions. There we go. So then we're going to need to flip the switch at the other end of this too. Because we did not go down... Whoops. Other way. We did not go down the... Um, yeah, we went down this. Yeah, I'm not sure now. Actually, I think we did. We didn't come from the oil thing last, because we went back and picked up the other cars, didn't we? So this one is. This one is. 
going to go through. Okay. Yeah, that's good. All right. Because then the next thing is just going back. Oh, you know what? We don't want to do that. We want to drop this off at the... Do we want to drop this off at the oil thing? And then back up and get pipes? Or do we want to go all the way through and load up the pipes too? I think we can... Um, yeah, I think we'll... You know what? If we do that, then we're going to end up with the light part of the train in the front. So we'll load up the whole thing first. Plus it's more fun that way, isn't it? To have a fully loaded train? Is it all derailed now? <laughs> nope. Cool. Looks like it's making a decent... Yeah, it's making a decent clip. Alright. 15... <laughs> Did you see it disappear there? All right, we're gonna we're gonna let off the gas here as it's popcorning there, right? <laughs> yeah, let's just let it coast here. We're not in that much of a hurry, are we? Let's see where our cars are. They look okay. All right, just checking. <laughs> what is our frame rate? Nothing, because we're on that screen. Let's see if it shows up again. 17. Okay. And doesn't it look like we only have like four cars back there? It's because they're so flat, I guess. But here we go. We'll try 8%. See what see what 8% does. Nope, I think we're coming back up a hill or something. There we go. <laughs> I should be looking this way, just so that ever if everything disconnects, I know it. <laughs> right? Let me come up this way a little bit more. There we go. So we could do this, but that blocks, blocks too much of the view. So we'll keep it back here. Current speed. All right, we're doing okay. Let's see what our frames per second does now. It was 17 when we were all on one thing. 15. It didn't drop as much as I expected it to. See, I spoke too soon. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so we can bring this down. We'll bring it down to the the pipes and we'll load them up with pipes as much as we can anyway. We might have to extend that track that goes past the thing, because this is pretty long. I'm not sure that it goes that far. So the other thing I was looking at was, um, you know, I was thinking it would be cool to be able to move the, um, the spline handles and stuff like that around. The thing is, um, if you have two sections that are that are end to end, the handles have to be. Um, the handles have to be parallel to each other. Basically, if you turn this handle this way, then the joint of the track is going to do that. It's going to be at an angle like this. So you do have to keep the handles in place, at least in line. So you could you could still change the length of the handles because that would change how sharp the turn is. Like if you've got um, two things at like a 90 degree angle, and the handles are really long, then it's going to be like this. And if the, the shorter the handles get, the more it does this. The more it flattens toward where it starts to, you know, where the where the segment starts. So you could do that in order to um, set the lengths of the handles. And the other thing I realized while I was doing that was, you know, how when you're trying to do a circle, a circular section, and it just it just craps out at a certain point and it won't let you go any further. 
um, it's because that's you're actually only approximating a circle a circular section with the spline and the handles basically you can't go past 90 degrees and still keep it circular ish <laughs> is what that is so anyway we're gonna go like this I think we're doing okay yeah we're still doing okay 9.1 And we're going to let this coast a little bit because we want to be kind of careful coming around this big corner. Let's see how this is going to go. Seven. We just don't want to go flying too fast around that big corner. Honestly, you should be able to go full speed around it, but <laughs> we also have to stop it once we get around that corner, and we're going to have a bunch of this stuff on the corner. Yeah, a bunch of this stuff is going to be on the corner as we're trying to slow down and stop, so we do need to be cautious about what we're doing here. All right, looks like it's going to slow down on its own. Cool. It's not exploding or anything. <laughs> you know, like in movies, whenever a car gets into an accident, it explodes. Or anything, you know, anything, a kid on a bike falls over, everything explodes, right? <laughs> okay. I know the boiler would explode, but those the flat cars over there with beams on them wouldn't explode. But those boiler explosions were spectacular. Uh, if you've ever watched the the um, Mythbusters, I think th those were some of their best ones. Were where they did the the water heaters. They pressurized the water heaters and then had them blow out the bottom or whatever. And they just launched. Okay. Yeah, the engine is still acting funky on these corners. But I think we're okay on this. So we need to get, actually, we need to get this whole thing around, don't we? Pretty much, yeah. We pretty much need to get the entire thing all the way around. All the beams are going to be past the corner at least. So I think we'll be good on that part. We'll be okay on that. And then hopefully it'll make more tools because um, we emptied out, when we empty out the pipes it'll make more tools. It's a big question mark. <laughs> okay, we are, our switch is good and we have 96 steel pipes, okay. It must make eight of them at a time. Because it filled up and it stopped. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep going for a little bit here. We still got to get all these other cars past the thing. So we're going to do this. That'll hopefully let us see what's going on here. Or we can just do this. We can be the we can be the guy on the thing, right? The guy on the platform who's saying when. Uh, I forgot to I forgot to ring the bell too. All right. 
it's perfect speed for this. We could even unload at that speed. <laughs> we still need the, the auto unloader, the team unload or something. You could even have like you buy, a, you hire an NPC kind of thing, you know, you hire somebody who's, who just stands there and, and unloads as you drive past as long as you drive at a reasonable speed. Or they just automatically trigger the unload when the arrow is about to hit the dock kind of thing. And then you just drive at one to two. Okay, we're getting close. A little bit more. Let's see if we can do this without pulling it off the track, right? I don't think we're going up too much of a hill. It's going up a little bit of a grade, but not too much. There we go. The only concern is just that little the switch there. It's the only part that, where that would actually be of any kind of concern. Okay, we'll load up as many of these as we can. And a little bit more. Let's see if we can get this to go a little bit more. There we go. Almost there. I think it'll stop. Yep, it'll stop right where I want it to. Okay, cool. All right. So, should be able to and nice. Okay. How much fuel do I have left? 60, okay. I did refill it right before I started recording, so. We didn't use too much because we weren't like going full, full chug up a hill or anything like that. I like this on the map, it, you, it lets you see exactly where the thing's pointing to. Just do a whole episode where you don't, you don't actually do anything in 3D or just looking at the map the whole time? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Remote, right? Abstract railroads. Abstract train driver. All right. Come on, you can do it. Go. Looks good. Only got a couple more. <laughs> All right. That's what they need is the person standing at the thing has a has a whistle too, right? They just blow the whistle when it's time to oh you can do it you can do it you can do it we're gonna coast right up to the finish line there there we go perfect all right all right we're gonna go like this hopefully that'll lower it down a little bit yeah see it almost <laughs> pulled a little hard there <laughs> it's the only thing is when you're doing this it would be nice if the cars could be fully loaded up so that you're actually pulling the newly loaded cars instead of almost empty all right let's see if it'll get up there is it going to get up there there that'll do it All right. And then I think there's only one more left. Yep, there's only one more left. All right. Let's go like this. 10%, 
there. Hopefully that won't pull it too hard. There it goes. Nice. See if we can get this on here. 88. As it goes past. <laughs> That's right. Almost there. Because we can hit this. And then we can hit this. There we go. Alright, cool. And then we can hit the brakes here. And so yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go load this up and I will be back in just a second. Alright, we're back and let's see if we can get this thing moving. Let's put some fuel in here too. We're gonna need some more fuel, I think. So I haven't fuel it since the beginning. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Should be about 90. Yep. Alright, cool. So we're going to uh and let's go like this and let's just give it a hundred percent let's see what happens if we give it a hundred percent can we just slam it in into speed <laughs> right all right cool i like the squeaky sounds This would definitely help. All right, so I don't think we need to be at 100% the whole way because we're gonna have to stop once we get up here. I think we're gonna have to stop fairly uh, a ways before the end of the line. We'll put it that way. I'm gonna have to extend the end of the line. Or we're going to have to unload the beams and then back up and put the beams on the loop and then pull around and, you know, that kind of thing. But that's, like, not cool. So there's no reason to do that. I think what we need to do is we just need to put a really big turnaround on this. We need to make this part of this big turnaround is, I think, what we need to do. So we'll let this roll into town. and then we'll decide what we're gonna do with that. But I think that's how we should do it. I think that's how we should proceed. Let's we'll see what we can make happen. And we're gonna have to break. Yeah, we're gonna have to use some brakes to get this to, am I speeding up? Oh, that's right, I don't have the thingy on yet, okay. I think we're pretty much on level ground. We'll get some brakes going here. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can bring this right up to the unload spot. Almost there. And, oh man, can we get two of them at a time? We might be able to get two of them at a time. I'm not sure that we can, though. All right, so let's go like this. We're going to unload this. Let's see. We've got... Where's the beams? Three. Okay. All right, and this one? Yeah, it looks like we can get them to unload two at a time. Okay, cool. Um, is that one going to, yeah, that one will unload, here. See? Nice. Okay. So, yeah, we can get two at a time. Um, let's see how far this is going to go up. I think what we need to do is we need to, we need to do something about this before we're onto this piece of track, because I don't know where this piece of track starts. It might even be that entire length. Back to the switch, right? Did I do something like that? But I think what we want to do is we want to make this one, I think we want to make this one turn out. So we're going to go 
like this. We're going to demolish this piece. Wow. <laughs> That's really far. Okay. And then we're going to go like switch right with that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then we want to do um, select our link point. We want to link. We want to link at that link point. See if it'll link. There we go. Okay. So that's what we wanted there. And then we can connect this to this, however it wants to connect. Whoops. <laughs> okay. That that was awesome. I gotta say that was hilarious. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Here, link, and then there we go. There's the link. All right. Cool. That looks like a nice smooth curve, doesn't it? Okay. And then this is gonna come out to here, and then we're gonna go like nice. Um, what is that? Like this. There. We want it to come out to here. What's it doing? There. It's it's acting weird. Okay. So what we want to do is we want this to come out to here and to basically connect with this, right? Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna get these logs out of here. I think this is a better way to do this. We can even fill back we can fill back in the trees that we cut out way back there. I, I want to get these out of here because we want to be able to see where everything is when we're moving around here. So let's try and see if we can find the joint in the track. There it is. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think we need to change our direction, don't we? All right, so let's go like this. Track construction. Let me see. Yeah, we're going to go like this. And then we'll go this way. How's that look? Is it looped around again? Why is it looping around again? Huh. Okay. Well, let's demolish this one. And we'll also demolish this one here. Okay. Let's try this again. See if we can get it to, to do what we want it to do. I think that's what it was. I think we had it twisted again. Try it like this. Yeah, that looks better. You can tell as soon as you look at the gravel, because the gravel gets all stretched out. Okay, cool. We can even get rid of a couple more of these, because these are going to get in the way of the camera. There we go. And then, like I said, we can fill in this end down here, because it looks a little weird. All right, now we can actually bring this around and... Uh, Cool. So that'll let us. Um, that'll also let us when we drop stuff off, we can come back out head first. That's beautiful. Okay. All right. And let's see. You know, what'd be cool is if you could line up the cars. You stagger the cars so that you can empty two of these here and two of those pipes there too. All right. Let's do this. We're gonna come out to here. Open controls. There we go. And we'll get this shrunk down. And let's get this shrunk too. Let's get this out of here. Whoops. 
get that out of there. There we go. Okay, so we should be able to get a couple of percent on there. Let's go like this. We're going to bring the middle of the, I think that, I think this stake needs to be past the end of this is what our qualification is. Am I still in the G screen? There we go. Okay. I think even that is good. Yeah. Okay. So like over there, that'll work. Yeah, this would be really nice. We could probably put a whole bunch of those things on the inner loops and the stuff like that too. Make a big switch yard in there. <laughs> I don't want to do too much with that. I don't want to make giant switch yards that I don't actually need yet. That would actually be a fun thing to do to make an automated thing is have it automatically create a switch yard where you just you you select a switch and it just makes the switch yard from there okay all right let's open up our p screen here there we go all right and I think we can go a little bit more than 2% on this. We probably should empty the pipes first. Now that I think about this, we probably should have emptied the pipes first because we're going to end up starting and stopping with that thing around the corner. You know what I mean? So if we empty the pipes first, To almost be smart to bring the engine all the way around and do that here see if we can do this let's go like this maybe we can just keep it rolling and and gently if it's level and we find the right thing where it doesn't speed up or slow down right 0 0.1 let's go like this a little bit more give it a little impulse of speed here right there There we go. Okay. Point four. Let's see what our speed's going to do here. Point three. Let's try six percent and see what we get out of six percent. It'd be nice if you could do that. You know, this even having this detect when a car is near the thing and not having it auto <laughs> inject the unload command right there we go that's a lot better okay all right and then we can slow this down I think three percent was keeping us moving at a constant speed yep it looks like three percent is going to keep us moving at at a constant speed maybe even a little bit we might even need a little bit more than three percent Cool. Yeah, let's try 4%. Let's see what we get there. Because we should be able to go about 4 or 5 times this speed and still be able to unload in time. And I also need to remember to um, change the I forgot to take the pipes out of the industry last time. 
So I need to remember to do that next time I'm in the save. So remind me, okay? Next time I'm in the save, when you're not even watching, remind me. <laughs> do that. Okay, how many... Ah, we can only unload one more car here. Okay. I was going to say, at least until we get the, the thingies. All right. Until we get more pipes unloaded. All right, there we go. Did it? Okay, it did, t it did take. All right. That was close. I was pushing it close there, though. That last one. That last one bounced. All right. Let's go like this. Let's give it a little bit more. Get it moving a little bit here. There we go. Try bringing it back down to 4% and let's see what we get. See if our speed will stay pretty much constant. It looks like it's going to. Cool. All right, so can I stand on this one and point at this one? Can I do that? I can't get that one to unload from there. Okay. I need to be over here. Okay, we're going to have to stop it. Because that's going to be... Yeah. Okay, let's see if we get it. Okay, they're coming out. Okay, good. All right. We'll go back to 4%. It's it's a little it's pushing it a little much when we uh get going that fast. It was it was pushing it a little too much, I think for my comfort. Because I forgot we have nine of these, and it's not just three of them to unload. So we're only going to be able... We only got three of them? Oh, that's because it's using them up. Oh, cool. Okay. Good. That means it's going to use up the beams, too. How many did it use? It used nine beams. So it's using three times as many beams as it does pipes. It's a lot. Okay. Come on. There we go. There. Nice. Let's see if it's going to use them up. There we go. Six. Is that fifteen? Oh, uh, no, it is using three and three, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, because it used nine pipes and nine, nine beams. What am I thinking? Right? All right, go. What are we getting for those pipes? 40? Well, that's cool. We get 360 per car. All right, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to... Um, here, let's turn this off. We're going to have to unload these, and then we'll come back and get the beams. That kind of thing. But I think it almost seems like it would... Although, then you just spend all your time... Um, you spend all your time shunting cars and everything in order to get... <laughs> in order to get them all in the right order. But I was thinking, you know, yeah, if you stagger them all, you put two and two or something like that. But then you spend all your time just dealing with that instead. Okay, so we can do... A few more. Can we get these moving. Yeah, because we can do 18. Yeah, it's 24. So we can do two more. We can unload two more, and then we have to back up and unload the beams.
almost there. Where's the little the arrow? <laughs> you know what that arrow reminds me of is like the the person with the sign flipping the sign, the person on the street flipping the sign, and it's an arrow shaped sign kind of thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it'd be really cool if you could stand on a car in front of it and then tell it to unload, right? 15 is 24. Okay. I'm just wondering if it's worth bringing another car forward and unloading six of them, but then we have to bring it back past there anyway. There. I mean, we're going to we're going to come up that way anyway, right? We're almost there. So we can do another six. Unload six of them. Bring the beams back. Let's see. Bring that back to zero. And then this should just coast to a stop, right? Is it on the thing yet? There it is. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. So we have 30 of those. So what we need to do is we're going to hit the reverser and we're going to go very slowly. We're going to come back very slowly in order to uh, get this thing moving, if we can. Can we do it? Is it going to go? Let's bring it up to 4%. I don't think it's going to do it. All right, let's go like this. And we'll see if we can bounce, get a little bounce. See, it's pushing them now. Whoops. There we go. That was beautiful. I'm a genius. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we put just a little bit of, we basically stretched them out and put space in there so that we're only pushing one car and then that impulse is traveling its way back car to car to car instead of if it's all compressed because we came to a stop everything was compressed against the engine so when you tried to push you were trying to push the entire train all at once instead of just one car so you stretch it out a little bit go forward stretch it out a little bit and then there's a space between each car and then you hit the first car that car moves a little pushes the impulse step back to the second car etc so yeah Cool. That's what that was when I went to reverse her forward and then back. I guess you can do that if you're stuck on a hill too. You can put the brakes on the back car and you bring all the, you let it all compress down and then when you take off again you're only pulling the first car right behind the engine. The engine's pulling itself and then it hits the end of the link and it pulls the first car and then that hits the end of the link and it pulls the second car but you're only pulling one car you're only adding one car's mass at a time so you can get a lot more um, impulse going before you momentum going before you you're pulling the entire thing we need to keep this moving <coughs> just make sure we've got because we've got that heavy thing on the end so I do want to be careful about that Look at all the oil we've got. We can get oil cars. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. We're on the last thingy. We just need the oil cars and then we need the um to get the oil and bring it down to the bring it up to the refinery. Cool. All right, we can wow, it's really speeding up now, isn't it? It's going 1.5 and I'm like acting like it's, you know, a race car or something. Like I'm a Mario Andretti over here. All right. 
<laughs> there we go. It's almost there. But yeah, this will give us six more of those. And then I think that means we can unload a couple more pipes. There we go, a little bit more. Last one. Now it should make more crude oil because now we have more of those beams. I don't know how often it checks. Yeah, see it used them. It didn't use the steel pipes. Why didn't it? Did I do something horribly wrong? I must have missed the platform. Okay. Well, I got to go in and change the industries anyway, so <laughs> I'll go fix that later. All right. I, I must have missed the platform. Let's see if we can hit it this time. Can we get it? It's almost there. Where's the little arrow? Does the arrow only show up when it's over the correct platform? I mean, that would be a cool hint, right? That would be a cool way to hint at the player. There. There it goes. Yeah, I'm, I wonder if that's what it is. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and that makes how many? Three beams and how many pipes? What do we got? It's still taken okay those landed on the platform didn't they did i, I didn't get any money either because my funds was nine thousand before <clears throat> all right i'm gonna have to check and go over that again but yeah that's gonna be it for episode 38 is it really 38 already that's gonna be it for episode 38 join me in episode 39 we're going to have to extend this over we're going to extend this over and we're going to go up to the uh, the oil thing. And I think what we're going to do this time is we're going to try to go um, up the side of this hill. Because last time we went across the valley or whatever. This time I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to get up to here and go up the side of this hill kind of thing. So that we can do it more um, at, at a less steep angle. And so we're going to have to make a... Um, crossing should I keep that as a crossing here or should I make it go above I think we will make that into a crossing here so yeah we're gonna make this into a crossing and then we'll start going uphill at that point and then this is gonna come through here etc etc so yeah that's gonna be it for episode 38 join me in episode 39 I'm gonna unload the rest of these and we'll see you then <laughs> later